Welcome back to The Loading Screen. I'm your host, Keith, with WCCF Tech TV, and here we try to bring you the biggest news in a small package. And today's big news is actually a follow-up from a previous Loading Screen episode. And, well, let's get that loaded up and we'll get right into it. So rumors have been swirling for a while that Microsoft was planning to unveil something new for its backwards compatibility on Xbox Series X and S. And today, well, they delivered. The newly announced FPS Boost feature will increase the frame rates of select backwards compatible games without any sort of patches or updates from developers needed. The new initiative is starting small with only five games, those being Far Cry 4, Watch Dogs 2, Super Lucky's Tale, Sniper Elite 4, and UFC 4. Well, that's just, you know, for the beginning now. There is more coming. Now, in Microsoft went on to say some of the benefits of it, touting things like Super Lucky's Tale now running upwards of 120 frames per second, and UFC delivering smooth 60 FPS frame rates. And another one being Watch Dogs 2, which was really impressive, went from a 30 FPS with a really unstable frame rate to a very buttery smooth 60 FPS on Series S and Series X. Now, eventually you'll be able to choose whether you want to turn on this FPS boost or not. Well, I mean, although I can't quite imagine why you would ever want to turn something like this off, but the tech heads over at Digital Foundry have already tested out FPS boost on all five games that support it so far, and we'll definitely put a link to that video down in the comment section below, but we'd love to hear your thoughts on this. This is really cool. Now, of course, these are the first five games. Now, they stated that it is not necessarily going to be limited to here this is just where they're starting with and if it's not going to require anything from the developers to update the games and it's going to be done on the console side well quite honestly that is really cool love to hear your thoughts down on this one and maybe is there a way to implement this on things like i don't know maybe the pc with rdna2 i don't know love to hear your thoughts on that one as well and for more on this and other news follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one